What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Styles tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how you can create different styles inside of SketchUp to get effects like sketches, uh, sketchy looks, other things like that. So um, it's been a while since I've talked about that and I've gotten some questions lately about this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one thing to note, I talk about this a lot more in depth inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. So the SketchUp Essentials course is my course where I really dive deep into the concepts inside of SketchUp. So if you do want to learn more about this and about how to use SketchUp in general, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. So this is a model that I've downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. So this is the Nona House by Ito Ralph. So you can go find this and follow along if you want to. And what I want to do is I want to take this model and I want to make it so that it looks like it's hand drawn, like a sketchy style. Um, and we'll talk about the presets that are in here, but also how to create our own custom styles inside of SketchUp. So first things first, probably the easiest way to do this is if you go into the styles section of your tray on the right hand side of the page or the styles window for my Mac users, um, the easiest way to do this is going to be to click the little drop down in here and look at the assorted style. Styles. And so the assorted styles is going to have some styles that are already built in that allow you to create different looks based on your model. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in here and I'm just going to delete out the section plane. You can also turn section planes off in a style as well, but for this video, we're not really going to worry about it too much. And you can see how what this does is this is applying the style in real time. What that means is that means that you can use this to create like any view or any angle with this style. So let's go back to our default styles for right now. And we're going to go to our architectural design style. So the easiest way to get that sketchy style is just to go find one that's already built in. So there's definitely some in here that have like sketchy edges and other things like that, which we can talk about a little bit more in a little bit. But just note that you can use this in order to just use these preset ones if you want. But let's talk a little bit more about styles in general. So let's go back to a architectural design style. Let's say we wanted to build a sketchy edge style inside of SketchUp. Well, what you could do is you could go into the edit settings and you could adjust this using the settings in order to create your own style. So for example, if I look at this, the first thing I want to do is I want this to look just black and white with a white background. And so there's two places we can go to do that. We can start with our background settings. And in our background settings, all we have to do is uncheck the sky and just change our background color to white. That allows us to have that white background color, right? So that's really easy to do. And now what we want is we want all of these faces to no longer have the textures applied to them or in the view, we don't want them to have the textures applied to them. The textures will still be there. We want to set this style so it's just showing the faces as white. And so you can do that by going into your edit, face settings, and you can adjust this to hidden line mode. What hidden line mode is going to do is it's basically going to render your faces in here as just black and white, and it's just going to show the visible edges, right? So now we have a black and white view inside of our model. But now what we want to do is we want to add that sketchy look to our model. And so the way that we can do that is by coming in here and adjusting our edge settings. And so our edge settings have some functions in here that allow us to customize the way that they're going to look. So we've talked a lot about profiles because profiles can really affect the performance of your model. So profiles can make everything run a little bit slower. Um, in this case, I think they're probably going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and leave them on. The first thing I want to add though, to make this look a little more sketched out is I'm going to add extensions. And so when I click on extension right here, what that's going to do is that's going to give me a little bit of an extension coming off of the ends of each edge inside of your model. But notice how you can't really see them right now. Well, let's go ahead and let's bump this value up to something like, we'll start with six. So when we bump it up to six, notice how this is much more pronounced, but it still doesn't look very hand drawn, right? It doesn't have enough in it to really give us that effect. So let's bump this up to something higher like 24. So if I type in a value of 24, now 
with every one of my edges, I've got a little extension coming off the back side of it. And so the extension coming off the back side is gonna give us that little extra piece in here. Um, but one of the problems that we have is at the moment, everything is too straight, right? It doesn't look hand sketched because all of the edges are just 100% straight inside of our viewport. Well, we can change that by checking the box for jitter. And so when we click on jitter, right here, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us just a little bit of width on our edges, right? So those edges now, instead of being very straight, they've got a little bit of sideways movement to them as if they were sketched in here by hand. You can kind of play around with this. Like for example, you could turn your profiles off if you like that a little bit better. You can make your profiles thicker. So you can make those like eight inches. You can see how that gets really thick really fast. So you don't necessarily want to go too heavy with that, but you can adjust these line and edge settings in order to really create this look that you're going for. So the other thing we could do is if we don't want this to be straight black and white, we could come over here into our colors and we can adjust the color of our edges. Notice how this is set to all same. And so all same means that this is going to adjust the color of all of our edges. So let's say we wanted these to be more of a gray color. Well, we could adjust this up like this so that these edges are more of a gray right here. So you could use that in order to really adjust the effect of your edges inside of your model. All right, so now let's do one more thing. This is gonna get a little bit more fun, but also a little bit more advanced. So what I wanna do is I want to bring in a watermark and place it over this image. And so what I wanna do is I wanna set this up so it looks like this is something we drew inside of a sketchbook. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a photo. So in this case, this is a photo that I've downloaded from FreePick and I will link to it in the notes down below. So attribution information. And so this is the blank spiral notebook and pencil on wood background. Um, it's a free photo from FreePick and uh, it's from AOPSAN. And you can download that by going to this page. I will link to it in the notes down below. And so what we wanna do is we wanna import that into a photo editing program. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask out part of this photo. By the way, you don't need to be able to do this. This is just kind of a bonus piece to this video. So I'm gonna open this photo in Photoshop. You can use a free photo editor like GIMP. And we're just gonna do a very simple thing here. We're not gonna make this super complicated. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna add a layer mask in here so that part of this is transparent. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we can import this image as a watermark into SketchUp so that you can only see, you can see the image as well as your model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag a box across here. So I'm just drawing a box and I'm just going to select and mask and I'm gonna mask that out. And this is a fairly simple function for any photo editing software. I'm gonna click on invert so that I'm masking out basically the red area. So now if I click on okay, you can see how this has a little checker box pattern that indicates that this is going to be transparent. All right, so once I've masked this out, I'm gonna export this as a PNG file because PNG files maintain transparency. By the way, if you have any questions about this process, leave a comment in the notes down below. So I'm gonna export this as a PNG file and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the size down because I don't need it to be this big. So I'm just gonna bring it down to like 19, 20 by 1280, um, whatever the aspect ratio brings it down to. And so that's gonna bring my size down and then I can just export this. And then we're gonna go back into SketchUp. And what we wanna do is we wanna add this as a watermark. So inside of your styles, there's an option over here for watermark settings. Basically what this allows you to do is bring in, it, it allows you to bring in an image either as, um, as a background, so something that goes behind your model over here, so you could use that to add like a sky, or in this case, we're gonna use it as an overlay so that we can block part of our model. So we're just gonna click the plus button to add a watermark. And we're gonna set this as an overlay. We're gonna click on next, and click on next again. And then in this case, because I'm not too worried about my aspect ratio, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my aspect ratio and select the option for stretch to fit the screen. So notice how what that did is that filled in my entire screen with this image. Now I'm gonna click on finish. Well now I can scroll in and out like this. And you can see how the only part of my model that's showing up is the part that isn't masked out by the rest of this image. So that's why we made this transparent in here. And you can play around with it a little bit more. So for example, you could like make your background color a little bit darker 
in order to kind of try to match up to that page setting. It starts getting a little bit advanced at that point. But you can see how you can use interesting masks and other things like that in order to really create this kind of hand sketched look inside of SketchUp. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Did you know you could do all of this with styles? Have you done anything cool with watermarks? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.